good morning dear students of third standard welcome to the evs class so today i am going to discuss with you about the chapter 5 so that is festivals and important dates so this is the festival season itself right dear children so what are the festivals we are going to <coughs> celebrate right so let me warm up uh, before beginning the lesson okay so look at the picture clues given here to complete the sentence what it is going to say it is so by using this pictures so we have to complete this sentences okay so dash is our national bird <coughs> dash is our national bird so what is our national bird that is peacock so is that is available in picture yes there are dash colors in our national flag how many colors are there in our national flag there are three colors in our national flag right it is called as the tricolor flag saffron white and green is it so and dash is also called as the festivals of lights yes so we are celebrating it that is deepavali deepavali is also called the festival of lights a dash is decorated to celebrate the christmas what is that christmas tree christmas tree is going to be decorated to celebrate in the christmas dash is known as the festival of colors what is the festival of colors holi is it holi is the festival of colors okay so let me discuss about some festivals so that especially we are going to celebrate so especially we are going to celebrate in the community so that what we call it as the national festivals is it okay so what are the national festivals so we are going to discuss about that so in india people following different religions live together and celebrate some special days yes so we are from the different religions different languages different customs different cultures and so on so some days such as diwali christmas eid mahavir jayanti and guru parab so are celebrated by people of a certain religion only is it so these celebrates so these celebrations so deepavali is celebrated by the hindu community christians celebrate christmas eid is celebrated by the muslims mahavir jayanti is celebrated by the jains and the guru parab that is celebrated by the sikhs the different communities they are going to celebrate the different different festivals is it so these days are called religious festivals so what are these called these are called as religious festivals because the people of different religions they are going to celebrate it <coughs> we celebrate festivals of other religions also besides the religious days there are national days so the religious festivals they are, that are going to be celebrated in the homes of particular religious peoples right but we together all the religious people we are going to celebrate the national days so indians all over the country celebrate these national days so that you know dear children is it so we are all going to celebrate what kind of national days so that is celebrated by the whole community of india so that there is no irrespective of caste religion language or anything so we are celebrating the national days so that we are all indians right so that what we call it as the national days so first here it is the republic day what is republic day republic day is one of the national days of india is it the republic day is one of the national days of india okay it is celebrated every year on 26th january a spectacular parade, parade takes place in new delhi at rajput in which members of the armed forces take part different states display colorful tableaus uh, showing the culture and life of their people on the eve of republic day the president addresses the nation okay so what it is here going to do so the republic day is one of the national days of india so where it is going to celebrate it when it is going to be celebrated 
it is going to be celebrated every year on 26th january so a spectacular parade takes place in new delhi at rajput is it it is going to be uh, taken place in the place called rajput and so the armed force is going to be take part in that and so there are the colorful tableaus uh, the culture of the people so that is going to be displayed on that day so on the rajput so here you can see the picture of this right and the president addresses the nation on that day. on that day the president of india who is the present president of india the president of india is pranam sorry ramnath kovind right the present president of india is ramnath kovind so independence day what we are going to uh, celebrate on 15th august every year so every year on 15th august we celebrate independence day is it in delhi the program starts with the unfurling of the tricolor or the national flag by the prime minister at the red fort the prime minister then addresses the nation and highlights the progress of our country has made cultural programs are held in all the cities and towns of india is yes? so we are going to celebrate on 15th august that is the independence day so in delhi the program with the unfurling of the tricolor or the national flag by the prime minister at the red fort right and the prime minister is going to address the nation on that day and there is the highlights of our nation so that has made the cultural programs are held in all the cities and the towns of india okay and then afterwards what we are going to celebrate so that is the okay gandhi jayanti okay so the one more important uh, national festival that is gandhi jayanti so i think you are all observed the independence day that we are going to celebrate in our school every year right so this year we are not celebrated because of the uh, whatever the health emergency situation so that we are facing is it dear children right and so every year we are going to very gratitude we are going to celebrate the independence day so that we are going to give the respect to the freedom fighters every year and next one more uh, national festival so that is the gandhi jayanti so gan mahatma gandhi fondly called bapu played an important part in india's freedom struggle and he is remembered as the father of nation who is our father of nation mahatma gandhi ji what he is going to be fondly called of so he is going to called as bapu okay so he was played the important role in the freedom struggle and he believed in fighting for what was right in a non violent way so how he fought for the independence of india he fought for the independence of india on the non violent way not at all in the violent way non violent means so not at all making hurting to others or so he is going to say that so there should should not be a any violent measures so we are going to take so or we are going to take our independence from the british in the non violent and the truthful way so that what he is going to call it as the satyagraha every year on 2nd october we celebrate his birth anniversary as gandhi jayanti right every year we are going to celebrate mahatma gandhi ji's birthday as gandhi jayanti the president and prime minister along with other political leaders pay homage to him at rajghat so new delhi a place where his last rites were performed verses and prayers are read out from the holy books of all the religions gandhi's favorite song raghupati raghava raja ram is sung at all the meetings so his uh, uh, graveyard is at rajghat okay so there the prime minister and all the political leaders so they are going to pay the homage for mahatma gandhi ji and so his uh, uh, so where his last rites that are taken place in delhi so verses prayers so that are all going to be read out so from all the holy books because gandhi ji is going to love all the religions very equally okay so gandhi's favorite song so which is the gandhi's favorite song 
so that is raghupati raghava rajaram so that is sung on in at all the meetings so that you know on that day especially okay so next celebrations in school so how we are going to celebrate in our school so the three national days are celebrated in schools in a very special way so these three days are also national holidays due to which schools are more so mostly <clears throat> that are going to be so we are going to be celebrating in the school so every three national festivals we are going to celebrate so which are that national festivals we are going to celebrate in the school so that is gandhi jayanti independence day and republic day so in the year beginning itself we are going to get the uh, so not in the academic so but in the year beginning so we are going to celebrate in the january month so that is the republic day then we are going to celebrate the independence day then in the october month of the october we are going to celebrate the gandhi jayanti right the festivals are thus usually celebrated a day earlier in schools for republic day and independence day national the national flag is hoisted in the morning assembly is it so we are going to hoist the national flag uh, on that day right so everyone salutes the national flag we stand at attention and sing the national anthem so we also sing other patriotic songs together so what are the things we are going to do on that independence day and uh, republic day so we are going to hoist the national flag so which is that so that is a dry color flag of india and we stand at the attention and sing what the national anthem is it so we also sing other patriotic songs together so along with that we are going to sing the vande mataram on republic day sare jahan se acha on independence day so many patriotic songs we are going to sing and principals and teachers speak about the country and the great men and women who helped our country become free from the british rule so what we are going to uh, what the teachers and the principal used to do so they are going to give you the keynote address regarding what is the importance of day, that day and how we got freedom from the british so that the teachers and the other the principal is going to give the address at times schools also hold march fast plays and the fancy dress competitions through which students learn more about the people who led our country to freedom is it dear students so uh, we are going to conduct the march fast and then afterwards the fancy dress competitions is it and so we are going to learn more about the people who led our country to the freedom so we are going to remember so we are going to remember to whom so we are going to remember mahatma gandhi ji we are going to remember jawahar lal nehru we are going to remember subhash chandra bose bhagat singh lala lajpat rai bipin chandra pal and so many freedom fighters we are going to remember on that day because of their sacrifice we got the independence so that's why their memories are commemorated on that day their memories we are going to remember on that day right because of them we got the independence okay so and we are going to learn about more about them apart from these three national festivals we also celebrate a few other important days in school is it so that is coming in this month only that is the children's day so do you recognize this great leader who is he do you recognize this great leader so he is pandit jawahar lal nehru okay who is he he is the pandit jawahar lal nehru children called him chacha nehru the children used to call him as chacha nehru because he was very much fond of the children so he used to love the children more okay so that's why he is called as chacha nehru he was the first prime minister of india he loved children very much in india 14th november his birthday is celebrated as children's day okay every year on the month of november so that is on the 14th we are going to celebrate the children's day 
so his birthday is celebrated as the children's day so children's day why he is going to love he is he loved the children very much so that's why to remember his birthday so we are going to celebrate it as the children's day on children's day a lot of activities are held for the children in some schools teachers put up a show for the children is it in our schools also in our school also we are we usually conduct the program so every year right for the children day so the the teachers are going to do the various cultural activities to make you happy is it so on that on which day it is on chacha nehru's birthday so that is the children's day so by for his birthday only we are going to celebrate it as the it as the children's day okay dear students okay so next which day we are going to celebrate so that is the teachers day <coughs> you know about the teachers day do you know about the teachers day when we are going to celebrate the teachers day in india 5th september is celebrated as teachers day when we are going to celebrate the teachers day so that is 5th september in the month of september so we are going to celebrate it is on the 5th of 5th september we are going to celebrate it as the teachers day it is the birthday of dr sarve palli radha krishnan okay so what is that day it is the birthday of dr sarve palli radha krishnan dr radha krishnan was the second president of india okay the first president is dr babu rajendra prasad who is the first president dr babu rajendra prasad so this dr sarve palli radha krishnan was the second president of india he was a great scholar and helped to spread education in india so he was the great scholar so he used to he is having a wide range of knowledge so that's why he is considered as a scholar and so he helped to spread the education in india so he helped to spread the education in india he understood that india could progress only if everyone in the country is educated is it right dear children so when we are going to get the more education so definitely the country is going to be doing good students express their love and respect for their teachers on this day by giving themselves flowers and cards sit you are also done the same thing no so on the every uh, year of september 5 so that is the teachers day the students are going to give uh, the cards and the flowers to their teachers the government of india also presents awards to the teachers who have dedicated their lives to the education of children okay so the government of india so on that day itself it is going to give the presents and the awards to the teachers okay who have dedicated their lives to the education of the children so that is also very important day for the teachers so they are going to get the awards so they because of their service all festivals and celebrations help bring people closer to each other is it so how the festivals so that is going to be get funny so is the festivals are funniest and it is going to give us the fresh mood is it and all festivals and celebrations so that is going to help bring the people closer to each other is it dear children they help us forget our differences and become friends with our neighbors and other people the festivals are like that itself it is going to keep us very very close and it is going to forget whatever the differences we are having and with the neighbors with the friends so we are going to greet each other and we are going to say that we are all one on that day right and so we are going to forget whatever the mistakes we are done so that the funniest things that the funs that is going to the festivals are going to bring for us so it may be on the day of national festival or whatever the celebrations you are having in the home dear children okay so national days help us understand that we are all indians and that we are proud of our country is it is it so the national days help us know 
to understand what we are and so we are going to say that we are proud of to be a indian right the national uh, national days what we are going to celebrate it is going to bring us together so it is going to say that all indians are one so that's why we are celebrating the festivals together they revive our love for our country and remind us that we must follow the laws of our country and carry out our duties is it dear children so we have to love our country yes we have to love our country and it is going to remind us that we must follow the laws so how we are going to follow the laws we have to follow the laws and whatever the duties we are having so that we have to do so by that we have to respect our country respecting the country is very important along with the celebration of the festivals okay so let me wrap up the lesson let me wrap up the lesson so what are the things we studied in this lesson okay so the national days are celebrated by everybody all over india such occasions help us come together and revive our love for the country is it only the religious festivals so that are celebrated in our homes right right deepavali eid christmas guru parab and so many mahavir jayanti so that are festivals we are going to celebrate it, it in our home but the national days so the whole community of india is going to celebrate so it is the such a occasion it is going to bring us together okay so then the first festival in the month of january so that is on the 26th of january every year colorful tableaus are displayed in the parade so on rajpath so that what we call it as the republic day so when it is going to be celebrated it is celebrated on 26th january every year so next 5th september 5th september is celebrated as teachers day right to express the respect for dr radha krishnan who was the second president of india so when we are going to celebrate the teachers day it is on 5th september and next independence day is celebrated on 15th august every year is it the national flag is hoisted at the red fort on this day so on that day what we are going to do we are going to hoist our national flag which is called as tricolor flag so we are going to hoist it on red fort and so in every school campus school premises and in every district and taluk headquarters also they are going to hoist the flag right so that on that day 15th august we are going to celebrate the independence day next gandhi jayanti is the celebration of the birth anniversary of mahatma gandhi it is celebrated on 2nd october every year when we are going to celebrate mahatma mahatma gandhi's birthday it is on 2nd october what he is fondly known as he is fondly known as babu right he is the father of the nation so that are all the things we discussed and next one more important national day pandit nehru's birthday pandit jawahar lal nehru's birthday birth anniversary on 14th november that is celebrated as children's day what it is celebrated as it is celebrated as children's day in india is it so we are all enjoyed these national days right dear children hope there is everything so that is clear for you yes so whatever the things we discussed festivals and important days so that especially the important national festivals we are discussed so from january 26th the republic day then the independence day on august 15th and then we discussed about the september 5th as the teachers day october 2nd as the gandhi jayanti and november 14th as the children's day hope you student so you are not at all having any doubts regarding this lesson and you understood about this lesson thank you dear children so i'll meet you in the next session once again thank you